Hello everyone, it is Pal Ponder on Weather coming at you with another update. I had a lot of requests lately to kind of give me an approximate amount of annual snowfall for your particular city in the United States. So I went ahead and made a special video about it. Uh, before we do get started, uh, if you do like weather related content, please consider subscribing to my channel and also uh, check out a lot of my social media links uh, down below. So let's get started. So here is the winter forecast 2019-2020 uh, snowfall outlook. Uh, so how I came up with this is basically I based it on three analogs. And it's the same analogs I've been choosing for the last two months since we started. 2013-14, 2014-15, 1978-79. And right now we're actually tracking almost verbatim coming up in November uh, along with 2014 analog. So let's take it uh, city by city. I'm going to zoom in and start with the northeast. So Bangor, Maine, you average 69 inches a year, and I'm expecting 100 plus inches this year. All right. Portland, Maine, you average 61 inches, and I'm expecting 90 plus inches. So I'm expecting a lot of snowfall. Concord, New Hampshire, you average 62 inches and I'm expecting 85 plus. Burlington, Vermont, you average 72 inches, and I'm expecting around 90 inches plus in your particular city. Albany, New York, you average 52 inches, and I'm guesstimating 70 plus inches of snow. Syracuse, New York, you, all, you average 124 inches of snowfall, so I'm going with 130 plus. <laughs> All right, that's still a lot of snow. For you know these areas in pink, I'm expecting probably 10 feet plus of snow. I'm thinking you're going to get a lot of lake, lake effect snow, especially like in Buffalo. I mean, you got to hit 150, 175 inches in Buffalo this year. Uh, you've had a lot of warm fall, at least the beginning of the fall, which I think once the lake effect uh, snow season kicks in, it's really going to start cranking. Uh, Pittsburgh, New York, P uh, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, I'm expecting you only average 28 inches of snow, but I'm going with 60 this year. All right, everything I looked at, I'm looking at 60 inches. Boston, Massachusetts, you average 48 inches, and I'm going with 70 plus for you guys this year. Hartford, Connecticut, you average 26 inches, and, you, and I'm guesstimating 50 plus inches of snow for you guys. Dover, Delaware, you average 16 inches of snow, and I'm guesstimating 30 plus inches. All right, so almost double. Washington, D.C., you average 15 inches of snow, and I'm expecting 25 plus inches. Richmond, Virginia, you average 11 inches of snow, and I'm expecting 18 plus inches. Columbus, Columbus, Ohio, you average 22 inches, and I'm guesstimating 35 inches plus. Indianapolis, um, you average 22 inches, and I'm guesstimating 40 inches plus. Chicago, Illinois, you average 36 inches, and you're right by the water, so I'm going with 70 plus inches of snowfall this year. Des Moines, Iowa, 33 inches of snow average, I'm going with 50 plus inches of snow. Lansing, Michigan, you average 46 inches, and I'm thinking 65 plus for you guys this year. Ontario, Canada, particularly Kitchener, uh, 62 inches of snow average. I'm going with 90 plus inches for you up in Ontario. Madison, Wisconsin, you average 42 inches, and I'm going with 60 plus inches of snow. Minneapolis, Minnesota, you average 45 inches, and I'm going with 65 plus. All right, so let's flip it on to the southeast, and we'll start with Lexicon, uh, Kentucky, where you average 10 inches of snow, and I'm going with double that, 20 inches for you guys this year. St. Louis, Missouri, you average 16 inches of snow, and I'm going with 25 plus. Lincoln, Nebraska, you average 26 inches, and I'm going with 30 inches plus. So when I say 30 inches plus, I think you're going to get at least 30 inches and then 
tack on top of that. All right. Raleigh, North Carolina, you average four inches of snow. And I'm thinking between six and eight inches for you guys this year. Atlanta, you average two inches. And I'm thinking you get four to six inches of snow this year. Montgomery, Alabama, you, you don't even average, uh, you average less than an inch. And I'm going with two to four inches of snowfall for you guys this year. Jackson, Mississippi, you average one inch, and I'm going with one to three inches of snow. Baton Rouge, Louisiana, you average less than one inch, so I'm going with at least a trace. All right, I don't think you get, I don't think you get as little, uh, you know, one inch. I'm thinking at least a trace plus. All right, so at least it's going to snow this year for you guys, or at least see some flurries. Little Rock, Arkansas, you average four inches of snow, and I'm thinking between four and eight inches of snow for you guys this year in Little Rock. Houston, Texas, it averages, it snows once every five years in Houston, and I'm going with at least a trace, but not less than, less than one inch of measurable snow. Dallas, Texas, where you haven't seen any snow in five years, you average about two inches, and I'm going with four to six inches this year. Lubbock, Texas, you average seven inches, and I'm going with 15 plus out in West Texas. All right, so let's go to the Midwest. So Lincoln, Nebraska, you average 26 inches, and I'm thinking at your peak, you're gonna be a little bit below normal, 20 inches plus. Uh, Wichita, Kansas, you average 13 inches, and I'm going with 20 inches plus. Santa Fe, New Mexico, you average 26 inches, and I'm thinking 40 plus inches of snow for you guys this year. Denver, Colorado, you average 60 inches of snow, and I'm thinking between 60 and 80 inches. The highlighted in the pink is the mountainous regions. We're gonna be well over 100 inches. Phoenix, you don't really average any snowfall, but I'm thinking at least a trace for you guys, but less than one inch. Las Vegas, same thing. You average less than one inch of snow, but I'm thinking at least between trace and one inch this year. St. Louis, Salt Lake City, uh, Utah, you average 54 inches of snow, and I'm thinking a little bit below normal, 40 inches plus. All right? So the last spot, let's go up to the north, northwest, north, northwest. And we'll start with uh, Bismarck, North Dakota. And you average 46 inches of snow. And I'm thinking 65 inches of snow plus. So Pierre, South Dakota, you average 35 inches. And I'm thinking 50 inches plus for you guys in Pierre. Cheyenne. Wyoming, you average 58 inches of snow, and I'm thinking 80 plus inches of snow for you guys in Cheyenne. Boise, Idaho, you average 20 inches, and I'm thinking at the peak, a little bit below normal, 15 inches plus. Seattle, Washington, you average six inches of snow, and I'm thinking a little bit below normal this year, three to five inches. Portland, Oregon, you average four inches of snow, and I'm thinking between four and six inches for you guys. Sacramento, California, you don't average any snow, less than one inch on average, and I don't think it's going to snow for you guys in uh, Sacramento this year. And it's giveaway time. This is going to be my last giveaway on this uh, series where I'm giving away two of my rain gauges. And all you have to do is like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, and I'll be picking uh, two random uh, followers from this video, and I'll do a drawing where I'll pick 10 names and mail out 10 rain gauges on November 1st to my followers. All right, so I hope you found this video of value. I hope I kind of wanted to give you a kind of a breakdown. I can really give you an overall guesstimate of what I think, how this winter is going to play out as far as average annual snowfalls. Obviously, I couldn't list all the cities. But if you have a particular city that's not nearby one of the cities that I did mention, be happy to uh, comment below, and I'll be happy to customize a snowfall forecast uh, for you. All right, so 
if you found value in this video, please consider uh, subscribing to my channel and definitely catch me next video where I protect you before and after the storm.